Ubiest of the Tubiest. The best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus. And yes, it's been a little bit. Let me see if I can get a better angle with you guys. That's a little bit better there. Okay, yes, it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. Uh, I've had a, a few things to handle with the family uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks, and I just hadn't been in the mood to make a video. However, um, we're going to see if we can get back in the swing of things, okay? And um, Jeremy, if I didn't pronounce your last name right, then, you know, forgive me, uh Jeremy Higdon, I believe it is, uh, one of the UBS, and he says um, he's coming from a truck driving school. What do I have to expect once I get to my terminal? Well, um, that question kind of depends on, on what company you go with. But the first thing you're going to do is um, um, go through an orientation and Generally speaking, a uh, an orientation will also um, it, it implies that you're going to have to do another application or an in-depth application. Um, if it's a big carrier, you're going to also have to do a another physical and a drug test. Um, some just do urine. Um, most do both urine and hair follicle. And um, these things aren't um, aren't uh, you know just some protocol for the for the carrier. This is uh, FMCSA rule. They actually have to keep a file on you, and those files have to have those things current in them. Okay, and um, and and the uh, DOT physical, by the way, you could just have have had a DOT physical done a month ago. And um, companies are going to want to make sure that the DOT physical was done uh, with some accuracy, okay? <laughs> you know, that's, uh, you know, some guy that didn't take, uh, take your money and go ahead and give you one, pass you just because you paid them, you know? So that kind of thing has to has to happen, okay? So expect for that. Um, he says uh, another, I, I, he and I responded a few times, but he also said in another one, um, He's going with Swift, which is a good deal. Um, despite what everybody say, don't listen to them stupid people. Okay, they have, most of them don't even know what they're talking about because they've never been there. They don't know. All they're doing is going off what they heard and rumors and all that kind of craziness. Go get, go get what you need to get from them. Okay, okay, you need that experience. Go grab it. However, I will say, uh, once you have your CDL, you have options. A lot of people don't, uh, they're going to a mega carrier because they don't have a CDL, nor do they have the ability to go to a school and uh, and pay for it. So they go to a mega carrier so that they can get their school or their CDL through the mega carrier and then pay it back over time. But there's a lot of options out there, a lot of options that uh, can pay you pretty damn good. Now, contrary to popular belief, you're not going to get real money with no experience, okay? So it doesn't matter if you do it, make a carrier, you don't. You With no experience, you're still going to have to start from the bottom. That's just the way it is in, in, in anything. So don't let people get on YouTube and tell you that uh, with no experience, you're going to make, you know, $500,000 in your first year. That's bullshit. But anyways, he says uh, he's going with Swift. Uh, he's going to do regional. Uh, do I another drug screen? Okay, yes, I already answered that one. Yes, you will. Um... Uh, okay, that's the same question he repeated. So anyways, um, <clears throat> bottom line is um, when you when you show up to, to any uh, orientation, um, you also have to do a driving test. That's also a part of uh, not the company. Just don't you want to make sure you can drive, but um, you have to prove to them that you can drive. And then they have to put that, the results of that driving test in your file and have to keep it in case uh, um, FMCSA uh, checks them out, okay? These things have to happen. 
Um, oh my God. Uh, folks are just blowing that little phone up here. Um, again, guys, um, I just want to answer a, a question, get back in the swing of things and give you guys some, some insight. Okay. I know that you've had a few questions. If you've asked a question over the next few, the past few weeks or even the past month or so, and I haven't answered your question, man, reach back out to me. Okay. I'm not trying to be, uh, uh, you know, I'm not trying to forget you. I just have, uh, you know, quite a few things in my mind and I really couldn't get to everybody like I really would want to. Okay. So I didn't forget you, but I will take care of you. If you go ahead and just uh, resend re your uh, question, see if I can make a video doing that. Okay. Um, William Curtis, he says, uh, you're an inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, getting in a, a, a trucking job and the kids are all grown and I'm working in a small company as a yard foreman. Uh, don't know how long this job will last, but okay, but it has uh, no retirement plan. I'm 47 years old, drove about three years. I'm sorry, drove about three months for Snyder National about five years ago. Nothing around here in Eastern Kentucky. I really need a job to retire from. I don't think I uh, have much more time to set up a retirement plan. That uh, I got a couple of things I'm going to talk to you about with that, and then I'm going to let you guys go on about your day. Um, William, um, can we wait too long to get started? On, on a retirement plan, yeah, we can wait too long. Doesn't mean that it can't happen, okay? Um, but um, I, I really don't know that the days of our parents um, are still the protocol for right now, okay? Basically, um, you know, we used to, you know, they would look for a job and the job um, would then pay a pension to them and then they'd work there all their life and then, or all their, you know, working years and then they would t retire and then the job would pay them a pension. That's a, actually, a pension is actually an insurance policy. It's like a, like a whole life or something. You pay into a whole life policy and then at, at a particular time you start pulling money off of that whole life policy. It's going to start paying back, that sort of thing. It's pretty much how a pension works. A, a job doesn't, you know, uh, put a bunch of money in a, in a savings account and then start divvying it back out to you once you get a certain age. It's not how it works, okay? Um, but very few jobs have pensions. And to look for a job, for those who, who aren't a whole lot familiar with a lot, let's just basically say, and this is a broad term, okay? But we can basically say pensions have been replaced with 401k plans, stuff like that, okay? It's basically uh, a, uh, a method of a 401k. But the pensions are much better, okay? <laughs> um, uh, you can, excuse me, you can get into a 401k right now, start dumping money into a 401k, you know, and then work for 25 more years. And when you retire, you'd be surprised that what's in that 401k won't hold you for long. Um, so um, outside of what the job is offering you, certainly uh, look into something else, okay? Um, I can tell you, I... I, I I think I have a 401k. Um, I rolled it over into a, uh, a another plan. I think I rolled it over to a Roth, if I'm not mistaken. I, 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 you know, I let an accountant handle that stuff. But I don't, I don't retire off of a. Excuse me, I'm not retiring off of a uh, 401k plan from you know any any job. Um, my my retirement is is was funded from my real estate, you know, and my real estate is 
pay for and not just collect rent and rent goes into an investment account that has been like that for 10 years or so. And, you know, it's uh, a really good way to, to, to have some security. It puts you that way. <laughs> okay. So I, what I'm, what I'm basically what I'm saying to you and I'm saying to everyone else that's listening to this outside of a 401k, outside a pension, outside what a, a job has to offer you, um, take what they have to offer you. Okay. If this is good stuff, get it. Don't, don't leave anything on the table, but be, I want you to be more proactive and, um, and try to do something for yourself outside of what the job is going to offer you. I'm not telling you, well, you know, um, GameStop, whatever it is, it's just, it's just going gangbusters and, and well, I'm going to go invest in that and that's going to, no, you don't know how to run stocks. If you don't know how to do that sort of stuff, then don't do that. I'm saying outside of your job, get you another a, a retirement uh, account that knows how to invest for your particular situation. Because see, now if you're... 21 years old and you're getting into trucking and you can go and, and invest uh, in your uh, in a retirement plan uh, into uh, uh, growth stock mutual funds and um, they won't grow really fast but you have a long time you have you know 45 years or so before you are thinking about retiring or before you hit 65. Myself, man, I'm a, I got like what uh, thirteen years before that happens. Okay, so you know if I'm just starting out right now, so William, if you if you're you know uh, just now starting to uh, prepare for it, um, you can make good money driving trucks, bro. So don't think that that you can't. You can. Uh, what you do with that money is going to uh, Will will then determine whether or not you're gonna what your what your retirement years are gonna look like, okay? And um, you know, just don't don't put all your eggs in one basket, okay? That's my advice to you, and I know you know all this, you know. So if, for those who don't know, you know, hey man, right now I don't care if you're 21, 22, 32, you know, 52. You may start putting money away for your retirement right now. Depending on your age, uh, will will determine how aggressively you will have to invest. But I'm I'm fortunate that I had someone uh, to guide me the right way. Um, otherwise, I'd be sitting here broke, my damn self. Anyways, guys, hey, I, I appreciate your 13 minutes. Hey, it's kind of short for me, right? So uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys holding on until I could get my life uh, on, uh, you know, firm footing. Um, it's going to be a little while before the old guy returns, but, you know, I'm trying to get there, okay? Uh, you know, we all we all cross that road, man. We all have people we, we uh, that's important in our life that, that move on, and then we have to move on with it. You know, we have to learn to live with it, and that's what I'm doing right now. So I appreciate you guys' patience. Until I see you again, come on, William. Come on out here, brother. Burn some fuel, and reach out to me if I can uh, help you out in any way. All of you guys, same thing. Till I see you again, deliver undistracted. And here's your boop. Yeah, boop.